What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of career mode this is episode number 51 and uh, unfortunately it's not a 51 minute episode today but um, I just want to say thank you very much for all the support on uh, yesterday's video uh, yesterday's career mode video I got an amazing amount of likes and I, I can't say thank you enough I really appreciate the support it's it's awesome uh, this series is doing so well and I'm so grateful for all your support so uh, thank you very much and I've also had a few comments because um, I've now started an armor team series which is coming out every day I've got a few comments saying you know when's career mode out when you're gonna be doing career mode are you still gonna be rotating the two um, seriously guys like I appreciate how much you enjoy this series but just just stop okay it's, it's gonna be coming out every single day you don't need to keep commenting and asking and just being really demanding it, it's still gonna be coming out every day and at the very very least every two days so there you go just just be patient it'll come out but um, anyway um, we start today's episode off with uh, one of the Murphy twins Jacob I think it was declining the contract again uh, again I, I didn't really pay much attention like I should have done I realized I offered him one year less than he actually wanted so he said no and uh, Johnny Housen then signs a contract which is fantastic because I did say I don't really want to lose Housen um, I, I like him as a player, I think he's a very decent squad player. Obviously, with the new sign is coming in, it'll be like seventh choice CM, but I still don't want to lose one of three. And uh, we also had a youth scout report there um, from our Danish scout, and I think we signed one of those players. So there you go. And uh, there was a look at the league table as well. Um, I think one of you may have pointed out yesterday. I should have shown it in the last episode, but completely forgot. I do apologise for that. I I just completely forgot all about it. Um, but I just decided I'll show it at the start of this episode to make up for it. So there's a league table. We're currently sitting in sixth, and um, yeah. Yeah, finally we've moved up from 7th and uh, hopefully we are going to be touch wood making a Champions League come the end of the season it's still such a big ask you know it really is but um, I'm, I'm still confident we can do it it is a big ask, I know that, but I'm, I'm still very confident with the way we, we, we've uh, been playing this year. Um, of course, in real life, uh, this is the 2014-2015 season. If we win the Europa League, we would qualify for the Champions League automatically in in in, uh, in real life for the next season. Um, but I'm not sure whether EA have that feature implemented. I think it's 2015, isn't it? Maybe, maybe 2016. Anyway, one of the seasons anyway, um, once you win the Europa League, you get a place in the Champions League. So winning the Europa League could give us a, an automatic Champions League spot, but I'm not sure EA have that in the game. So, um, oh well, it looks like we'll have to do it the traditional way of uh, uh, having a high league finish. But um, anyway, uh, we take on Stoke for the first game of the episode here. So back to business after that Capital One Cup final victory over Manchester City uh, in the last game. Taking on Stoke at the Britannia Stadium here on, uh, I think it was Thursday night. It was going to be a very, very difficult game. Stoke such a very strong defensive side but in the 24th minute we did take the lead Elliot Bennett getting played through one of the a rare appearances for Elliot Bennett he's a winger which doesn't really get played much of course we've got Redmond and Townsend and obviously of late Jennings has been doing incredible and of course uh, Serge Gnabry or Gnabry is uh, one of the loanees we have who's uh, a very very solid player on loan from Arsenal so he gets a rare appearance here and he gets a goal as well so brilliant for Elliot Bennett and in the 30th minute it could have been even better uh, Shalo became through uh, holding midfielder but uh, the keeper made a great save and look at this from Bennett man he was out of his skin doing everything he could almost caught the goalkeeper out of the near poster after an outrageous piece of skill crosses the ball in from the corner towards the head of Sean Morrison and it's headed away for another corner to us here uh, on the other side so uh, Bennett has to walk the uh, length of the pitch to go back and collect the ball. Crosses it in again. Again, it's towards Sean Morrison. But um, unfortunately, again, it's the same result. The header goes wide of the post. This time out for a goal kick, though. But in the 40th minute, another great chance for a holding midfielder. Shalobu was bombing forward in this game, unlike him. Another great chance, one on one, but his finishing is a little bit, uh, un um, you know, <laughs> subpar, I'd say. But not, you know, uh, it's to be expected from a holding midfielder. But uh, in the 56th minute here, Sebastian Bassong was pulling the shirt of, uh, not sure who it was for Stoke coming through here. And uh, sadly, the referee gave a straight red card. Very frustrating uh, because the Stoke defender didn't, uh, Stoke uh, forward didn't go down. There was very, very little sort of in the way of shirt pulling, but. The referee gave it. it, like, don't get me wrong, he's the last man, if there's a clear infringement, I mean, they're, what, 12 yards away, it's not like a Shamak incident on the weekend, um, you know, it, it's, it, it's like 12 yards out, and, you know, it, it's obvious the referee has to, was, was he outside the area? I can't remember. Um, it, it's obvious that he's got to give the, uh, the free kick there, and if he's the last man, he's got to go, so, obviously it is a red card, I know that, it's, just, it's very frustrating, because the referee doesn't always pull up for those shirt pulls, especially not when you're, oh, okay, it's outside the area, um, especially not when you're you're uh, close to the um, 
close to the goal. But um, I had to make a substitution. Uh, Nathan Ake came on here um, for us on loan from Chelsea because otherwise we would be missing a centre half. Uh, Arna Tobit struck it and he, uh, his shot was uh, well blocked. And then what a fantastic reflex save by Butland uh, to deny whoever that was at the. Uh, uh, the slightest of um, slightest, slightest of distances there, and uh, the game was still one 0 So Butland keeps it in it, keeps us in it, and uh, in the 66th minute, Leroy Furplex the ball here, rolls it out wide to Elliot Bennett down the right hand side, looking to add to his goal tally here. Comes through, takes aim at the near post. Uh, so a little bit of a soft shot there, really. And the goalkeeper has no problem tipping it over. So still one 0 But in the 73rd minute, we win the ball back here. Sean Morrison collects and gives it to Johnny House and just signed a new contract. And what a ball it is as well into Billy Sharp. That is an absolutely fantastic ball by. Uh, House who just signed the contract so uh, very glad to keep him down for another few years and uh, Sharp with a fantastic finish that's his 10th goal of the season and as I've said you know he's he's coming towards the end of his career but um, even so well end of his you know top flight career I'd say but um, even so he's still banging in the goals and that is exactly why I love Billy Sharp but in uh, the 80th minute Stokes should have had a penalty there when Olsen brought down not sure who it was at the far post but the referee didn't give it and then he just passed the ball straight into the path of Mark Wilson who put the ball into the empty net so uh Olsen with uh, a bit of a confusing piece of defending there. He probably thought it was a penalty, so he was passing the ball back to the spot. But um, yeah, Mark Wilson gets the goal, but it does finish 2-1. So we hang on with 10, uh, 10 men, and that's great news for us because we get another three points in a very, very difficult game there. But uh, Sebastian Besson uh, declines the contract. Of course, we uh, cheekily inquired to see if we could uh, go ahead and keep him in the uh, last episode. But sadly, he says, no, I want to join Arsenal. Stop standing in my way. So we're going to let him go. We're not going to bring the lawyers out. He's, he's going to go to Arsenal and uh, that'll be the end of that. It's just a shame really because once Besson goes we've got Smalling and then we've got no other good first choice centre-backs because Morrison isn't good enough. Then we've got Ryan Bennett and the only other centre-back we have right now is Nathan Ake on low from Chelsea. So we really need to sign a good first choice centre-half um, in the summer. <clears throat> If you have any ideas, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll, I'll try and check them out. But um, yeah, we do need to sign a centre-half. So in fact, if you can comment a centre-half you think we should buy, then uh, let me know in the comments because we are going to need to buy one. So um, yeah, if you have any suggestions for a centre-half, I'd, I'd love to hear them because you guys were definitely right about Anthony. He's been amazing. So if you have any uh, suggestions for uh, who, would you, who you'd like to see for uh, me me pick up as a centre-back, then uh, leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to check them out. But um, anyway, we took on Everton here uh, on the weekend and this was uh, ahead of our uh, Europa League uh, round of 16 tie uh, against Napoli. So taking on Everton here, I rested I think one or two players here, but in general we had a very very solid side out here at Carrow Road because, you know, as, as, as much as I think we can win the Europa League I also think we can qualify for the Champions League this year. I think this is our best year to do it. We're only one point behind fourth place. I think we're two points behind third place as well. And um, I don't think we're going to get better chances to qualify for the Champions League than this. So, you know, I don't want to, you know, rest all the players on the weekend and then just go for the Europa League. Uh, I really want to get both, and uh, preferably the Champions League. I, I would happily sacrifice winning the Europa League, which would be an amazing achievement. I would happily sacrifice it if it means we can qualify for the Champions League. So, you know, it does mean that we are going to keep playing our first team in uh, the league games. I mean, you know, we're still going to be doing the same in Europe. We're still going to be playing the first team, but it just means that there's no room for resting anymore. You know, everyone's got to uh, keep their stamina up and uh, keep on playing. But um, anyway, the first chance came in the 13th minute and Dale Jennings what a fantastic week this guy's having first of all he scores against Manchester City in the Capital One Cup final twice uh, he was absolutely amazing in that game scored an absolute screamer and uh, then he scores here to get us the opening goal against Everton so what a fantastic uh, week this guy's having but in the 31st minute James McCarthy uh, formerly of Wigan puts the ball into the back of the net and uh, he makes it 1-1 one, one here but in the 41st minute Butlin gets very very lucky as he tries to throw the ball out, goes straight to uh, Maguire Gay, I think it was, and he makes a good save to recover, and uh, from that, Russell Martin wins the ball and plays an unreal free ball to Wada Lucy, fantastically done, he, uh, he fakes shots around Phil Jagielka, but his left foot strike is well saved by the American goalkeeper Tim Howard, so still 1-1 here as we came into the second half, but uh, at the start of the second half, Luke Shaw wins the ball back here, gives it to Wada Lucy, rolls it through to Dale Jennings, what a great chance for Jennings here, takes on Seamus Coleman, beats him with a step over, cuts inside, and rifles 
rifles the ball past Tim Howard. That was a fantastic finish by Dale, uh, Dale Jennings. And that's his second goal of the game, his third in a week. Absolutely fantastic. This guy, who I brought as a backup winger, possibly a reserve winger in the future, and with Perotti coming in, he probably will be a reserve winger, is just playing out of his skin at the moment. Brilliant stuff by Jennings. That makes it 2-1. We're in the lead, and that is how the game finishes. So Dale Jennings, with two goals, gives us the win against Everton as we push for that Champions League spot. So what a fantastic week Jennings is having. And uh, it's great to get two wins out of two in two very difficult games. But uh, as always, guys, a big thank you for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like. That's much appreciated. And it really does help my channel out. And I'll see you for the next episode of Career Mode tomorrow evening. Don't forget, Career Mode is every day, so you don't need to keep commenting on my Ultimate Team series. I'll see you for the next episode of Career Mode tomorrow evening. So thanks for watching. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. And I will see you tomorrow for another two videos.